Hello everyone, welcome to uh, probably my first draft video here. Uh, that's That sounds weird to say because I've been doing stuff for Star City for a long time, but uh, yeah, here we are. So, uh, GP Atlanta this weekend, trying to get ready. And uh, I think Orin Reef Hydra is very overrated. Uh, the best two cards in the pack are definitely the Herald and the Royal Spout. And basically what I do in this format, and then there's going to be an article... Uh, about drafting up tomorrow, but the the cliff notes are I just take like the best card out of the first few packs and try and figure out what's open and what's going on. Uh, so uh, I think Royal Spout is a little bit better than Herald. It is a little more likely that we end up playing a Herald uh, because I think Blue Red is more common color combination than Blue White, but I think Spout is the best card, so we're just going to take this. And we just try and figure things out as we go. So uh, person on our right took a rare, uh, some pretty nice uncommons here. Uh, I think the Presence is probably the second best card. I think the Vampire is the best card, uh, assuming you actually end up in the white-black life gain deck. So, I don't know, I feel like a lot of people might just take the Presence here because it's like colorless and you get to stay open or whatever, but uh, I don't feel like that's actually all that important in this format just because uh, the format is very based on synergy and, you know, cards like Titan's Presence obviously require a lot of synergy to work, but that's, that's the same for each one of these cards, really. So, uh, Titan's Presence very clearly has like three colors attached to it. Uh, it's, it gives you a little bit more flexibility, but... Uh, would I rather have a little removal spell or just like this giant beater? And I think I'd rather have the giant beater, so I'm just going to take this. See, now we're seeing like a bunch of green cards. Uh, and this is Renewal. For whatever reason, people seem to underrate this card a decent amount. Uh, I generally see this with not a lot of cards left in the pack, but this, this enables like a lot of cool stuff. Um... But I would still think that something like Grove Rumbler is a little bit better. Uh, people don't like green, which I think is kind of silly. Uh, this is probably the card that people don't know how good it is, I guess, is the Beastmaster. This is, this is a card that uh, most of my green decks have a lot of. And I generally want to be drafting like a go-wide strategy, either with like allies or uh, scions. But uh, I think... The Grumbler is probably the best card. And it might look like, oh man, you just have like a pile of cards. And it's like, yeah, that's true. And hopefully at some point we'll we'll get a little direction going on here. But I think like the Renewal and the Grove Rumbler being in the back still, pretty decent signal for third pick because even if people don't like green or uh, even if they don't like, you know, the landfall decks or whatever, like, that's still a pretty big signal. And then this pack, uh, we have a giant M in, in the, or half an M, I guess, with this guy from existence, but, uh, so now there's, like, a lot of Devoid stuff, uh, like, Swarm Surge and Grave Birthing are both reasonable, they're not very powerful, um, but... Uh, I don't know. Swarm Surge is one of those cards that, like, either floats super late or uh, it's a card that, you know, you get to, like, pack three and you're just like, I would take Swarm Surge over anything because it's so good in my deck. But uh, because it usually floats way later than it should, I generally don't take it very highly. But I don't know what I want out of this pack. This is, this is pretty bad. I guess I'm just taking the Surge. Now we have Spawning Bed Sludge Crawler are the best cards. Huh. That's weird to see like the green dry up so quick. Maybe it was just like a really stacked pack, basically. So I think we take the crawler. Sludge Crawler is one of the best black commons. It's, it's better than, like, Calling Drone. It's better than Dominator Drone. Uh, it's better than Mind Raker. It's just, like, one of the best enablers for ingest. And 
uh, you basically want as many of them as you possibly can get because it scales so well into the late game. Okay, so now there's like some white black life gain stuff. Uh, Castigator is fine. It's generally not very good in those sorts of decks. I generally like a, a white black deck to be a little more defensive. Uh, so Medic is the card. It's kind of like Swarm Surge where it just like floats to the people that need it because it doesn't go in very many decks. Uh, kind of the same with the Night Watch, but I think I'm just going to take the Night Watch. Uh, because the medic, the medic I'll probably be able to get some copies of later. So I'm not really sure where we're supposed to be. There are some more black uh, ingest things. There's also the Merc Strider. Merc Strider's pretty nice. But at this point I haven't really seen any reason to be blue necessarily. Black is open in a couple different directions. I feel like, you know, this life gain stuff is kind of floating around and so is this, the ingest stuff. And we just have not seen a green card really. I mean, like, Blighted Woodland is basically a green card. Transgress and Mind Raker are both pretty nice. I uh, think I'll just take the Mind Raker. I was I was or originally not very high on this card, but it has grown on me. I've drafted like a decent amount of like black controlling. Devoid decks where the discard is nice, you end up with like a, a Mind Raker or two, and then like a Myers Malice or something. And uh, the games are generally pretty slow. You get to draw first and just kind of shred your opponent's hand, which is pretty nice if they're trying to build up to like a big Eldrazi or something. Uh, I do like Slab Hammer, I think that card is underrated. It's also a colorless card, which is nice. So we're just going to go ahead and select that uh, with the landfall decks, a green red landfall. I found it like pretty tough to win with them, but I definitely had a lot of landfall decks that were pretty low to the ground with like slab hammer and a few looming spires, and that combo with like a slide runner, like a trampler specifically, was really really powerful because you just kind of put them into the abyss super early. Oh, there's the spires. So it may or may not be red, but uh, do you think the Spires is good with our hammer and we could take like Foil Forest or something, but just hit the Spires. Ooh, the other Mind Raker came back. See, and this is this is the the payoff for green right here. It just like floats around because it's just 6 mana 5-5. Five, five. No one really wants it, but we'll take the other Mind Raker. Kind of awkward that we passed Herald into Titan's Presence. In spots like this, I generally like to just pass the card that I know I'm not going to play. So, like, if it's, like, a Salvage Drone or a Brood Hunter Worm, I'd be like, I am not blue-green. I'll take the land and pass those cards, but I may be, might be blue. So, we'll just take the drones. But, like, the Inspired Charge, I'm just like, here you go. Hopefully this, you know, solidifies you and puts you into that sort of deck. Maybe those colors... Yeah, this is certainly a weirdo. We got a weird looking deck here. But hopefully, hopefully it'll start to shape up here. Definitely need a second color somewhere. Uh, I don't mind, like, the green-black versions of this deck. Uh, I would prefer to be black-red, I think, but blue-black is also serviceable. But, yeah, I've had some weirdo green-black Swarm Surge decks. They're pretty neat, pretty fun.
Any new packs? Well, there's a forerunner of slaughter. Card basically does what we want. I mean, it is a two drop. Uh, we have a lot of colorless stuff going on. Nothing else is particularly close. I do like horribly awry. Uh, but forerunner is better. And I'm not about to take the planar outburst and go into white black. I could. I generally just like Forerunner better than Planar Outburst in this format anyway. Like, I'd much rather be doing the things that Forerunner is telling me to do rather than the things that Planar Outburst is telling me to do. And not killing the lands when people have Awakened Spells is a little awkward. It's like, slightly worse than a normal Wrath would be. So we're not necessarily black red yet. Oh dear. This is just a busted pack. Uh, we're gonna take the gruesome slaughter. Because right now we have a bunch of colorless creatures and this is just plague wind, basically. Uh, but like Nettle Drone, Coslux Sentinel, like all those cards are pretty nice. <laughs> Reproach and Stasis Snare is pretty insane. But I think I am close enough to just being like a mono colorless deck that Slaughter's going to be great. Yeah, Gruesome Slaughter is one of the cards I think that people uh, don't really give enough credit to. Uh, but I think in in this sort of archetype, this is this is it. This is the nut. also good with awakened stuff too. Colorless creature. Alright, not a lot for us. White is coming through pretty powerfully. Uh, Green Warden of Marasa is obviously pretty good. I don't know. Ideally, I'd be black red, but it does not seem to be how things are going. I could just take the slide runner. Like, ideally, I would just be taking colorless things because I have slaughter and swarm surge. I'm just gonna take Slide Runner. Green Warden might be a better pick, but I'm gonna take Slide Runner. And now we have a Vestige, which is like probably the best card for what our deck is trying to do, so that's good. Just a million Gideon's Reproaches. Uh, yeah. Just vestige it up. I think it's about the point where we can start trimming the stuff that we will likely just not play. pretty unlikely that these giant life gain animals are going to make it into our deck, but uh, we are short on cards right now, so they're in there for now. And hopefully we can, you know, get some removal, some stuff to fill up the curve. Eh, Molten Nursery, pretty nice. Yeah, that card's great. Sludge Crawler's also great, but I can't pass up the Nursery. Yeah. 
There are just some decks that like cannot be in a nursery, so. I think it's safe to cut the Night Watch. We might need Hill Giant. Hopefully not, but it's possible. Another Swarm Surge, I guess. Uh, like our deck is definitely not a good Swarm Surge deck currently, but hopefully. Would have been better if we took the other Sludge Crawler, probably. We need some twos. Some twos and threes, removal, maybe like a Grip of Desolation, you know, if we're uh, in wishful thinking land. Yeah, so we have two Mind Rakers, a Nursery, and a Slaughter, so I'd much rather be a controlling deck with those cards. Uh, so probably no Swarm Surge, but uh, I could also see it going the other way, where we just end up with a bunch of small stuff and want to play Swarm Surge anyway. But I've definitely played my fair share of like 18 land Black Red decks with Boiling Earth, Myers Malice, Channeler. Uh, and then we get a Dominator Drone... Plated Crusher is very, very good. This is basically the best Eldrazi uh, because of Hexproof, even though it's not actually an Eldrazi. Exert Influence is pretty nice, uh, but we just drone it up. Kind of figured out what our deck is, and now uh, we just take cards for that. And we've definitely passed a lot of good white cards. It's, it's kind of important to look back on the draft and uh, see, like, what you've been taking, what you've been passing, and kind of comparing those, because it's like, if you are passing a bunch of cards that are better than cards in your, that are in your deck, uh, you probably are in the wrong colors. So, Nettle Drone's a very nice pickup here. And I'm kind of scared, because I did pass just... A bunch of good white in this pack. But, I mean, obviously the place that we ended up is pretty nice. This deck looks okay. We have a pack left. Need to fill it out a decent amount. Uh, we already have a dutiful return, and that's still not even a card that I've really cast in this format. Uh, none of these cards are things that I'm really scared of. I guess the focus is probably the best card against me. At least that people will play. Like, Royal Mage's Trick is obviously pretty good. Uh, well, maybe not obviously. I think this card's underrated, too. The Trick is nice. Very main deckable. But yeah, I'll just take the focus. Just take that out of someone's deck. Even though it's not that big of a deal. And we get the Vestige back, which is nice. Retreat to Valakid is fine, it's just not in this deck. And definitely want another colorless creature for my slaughter. Now we can get rid of this Brood Brawn Vampire, Blood Bond. Alright, so we're at 15 playables. Um, the Slide Runner is a card that I don't necessarily want. And the two Swarm Surgers may or may not uh, end up fitting in my deck. We'll see. If I end up short on playables, I guess I want the Whiptail. That's slightly better than just playing the Vampire. Uh, Infused with the Elements is pretty good, and the Unnatural Aggression is not very good. I think people probably overrate that card. Okay, I'm going to take another Night Watch, I guess. I guess I could like D up the cub to protect the nursery. I'm more scared of four or five flyers. I'll take this cub, I guess.
Yeah, so kind of weird this pack, because we got a decent amount of colorless stuff, despite passing Herald and Titan's Presence. Uh, okay, so this is a good sign. Like, person on our left might not be black and red. But if they're not... If they're not white... And they didn't take Green Warren, yes, yeah, so I don't I don't understand. But yeah, we passed we passed Herald and Titan's Presence, so like a decent setup for some colorless stuff. We passed Core Entanglers, which is like a pretty nice payoff card for a white deck. If they're ally centric, but we just got like a bunch of white or we saw a bunch of white in uh, pack two, so I don't know. I don't know what the people on our left are doing. Uh, it was a pretty easy sentinel for me. I think this is Best common red creature, probably. Just like very good on offense and defense. Yeah, we're not passing too much, just you know, some more big fat white finishers. Radiant Flames Transgress. I like both those cards. This is not really a Radiant Flames deck. Uh, I would like to get something like Demon's Grasp, because we don't have a lot of removal as is. We have the Nursery and the Slaughter, and that's about it. But uh, We also don't have any payoffs for... Uh, the exile stuff, except for a couple mind rakers. So this transgress does not seem great either. So I don't know. Obviously, want more colorless cards because I have the nursery and stuff. So yeah, might be able to get a grasp later. Or something similar, and I, I'm just not too concerned with the Radiant Flames. Not sure that I would even start the Radiant Flames. There are definitely some decks out there that just can't beat it. So, 17 playables right now, Skitterson, uh, Skitter Skin is a pretty nice pickup. Uh, definitely one of the best threats. Uh, Claimer is nice, I've splashed this before, if you get like a wild or two and have a bunch of removal, this is pretty nice in the black red controlling Devoid decks. Uh, Skitter Skin is what I want though. Well, no, we have a deck. This pack is pretty sick, though, too. I would like to pick up some Awakened stuff. I don't think I've seen a Myers Malice. So, hopefully, we can get another two drop or two, cut the slide runner. You have all colorless stuff. Well, there's the calling drone, so. We are well on our way. Brutal Expulsion. That's quite the magic card. Definitely don't want third swarm surge. Don't really want second slab hammer either. We're at 20 playables, we have some medium stuff in the sideboard that we could play if we needed it. I would say that we're currently a 17 land deck. So we need like 3 playables. See, I think we just take the expulsion. Because I don't really want to play any of this other stuff. 
Mind Raker and Titan's Presence. So, uh, I guess it's Presence. Definitely want a removal spell. And don't have a ton of ways to actually turn on the Mind Rakers. It's really tough to get Dominator Drone in. Really tough. Ulamog's Nullifiers. This back has a bunch of good cards in it. Uh... So if Nullifiers is going this late, pretty unlikely that someone's in blue-black. Uh, Stalwart is probably the card that I'm most likely to play against that I care about. Uh, like, 3-4 definitely brick walls me. So, I'm just going to take the Stalwart. Uh, this is like the 50th Swarm Surge. It's going to take the rights, I guess. Don't think the rights is good enough to start. I don't have any token making, anything like that. It's like possible that I may want to just like sack my team to draw more stuff to nursery people with, but it's pretty weird. So right now I'm probably playing the whip tail. Maybe just like a raw night watch. So ended up a little bit short on playables. Unless we get some good stuff back here. Alters Reap. Bleh. Maybe I should have just taken the Medic. I don't think I'm ever going to sight in the Alter's Reap. I'm certainly not going to start it. Yeah, so this deck is kind of weird. Swarm Surge wants you to have as many creatures as possible, and Molten Nursery is just like a couple of enchantments, so they don't work too well together. A little scared of the 2-3 Death Touch guy. If we had an Evolving Wilds, we'd probably just play the Expulsion. As is, I guess it's Whiptail. And I don't really want to play 18 land, but. Ooh, now I don't mind playing 18 land. Alright. Deck is complete. Both these cards are pretty nice too. <laughs> Could play the Raider. Rawr. Raider has given me the beatdowns before. Yeah, I think our deck ended up fine. 
Obviously, the first few picks uh, were pretty weird. We're kind of just like all over the place, but that's just how we do things until we find some open stuff. And we have a lot of good payoffs. We have Gruesome Slaughter, two nurseries. Uh, and then our deck is just like kind of this solid beat down y thing. I can play the Hedron Blade too. I've done that before. Not proud of it, but it has happened. I think once we figured out what deck we were in, we didn't have too many interesting picks. But definitely our first five picks or so were pretty interesting. <sighs> and I am yawning because it's late and uh we are in a Swiss draft, which might explain some of the weirdness going on. Uh, but I was the only person in the 8-4 queue for quite a while. Uh, so one thing to note is that my deck is already built, basically. And uh, when you're drafting, you should basically be trying to do the same thing. Uh, you know, like figure out where your holes are on the curve, things that you need to fill out, things that you need, like... The Demon's Grasp I knew was like a card that I would definitely want to pick up uh, around like 4th or 5th because I definitely wanted a removal spell. We ended up getting the Titan's Presence instead, which is fine. Uh, we knew we wanted a few more 2s, uh, so we managed to pick those up. And then at the end of the draft, we were just like, okay, here's our deck. Um, and I, I could see a lot of situations where, uh, say there's like... Uh, this Boiling Earth in the last pack, or something marginal that you're like, oh, well, you know, in in a normal circumstance, like, this might make my deck, like, maybe it's a Swarm Surge or something, you're just like, yeah, I'm kind of a Swarm Surge deck, and then you just take, like, the Surge over the Boiling Earth, and then you lay out your deck, and you're like, oh, I actually don't want three Swarm Surges in this deck. Um, so just be paying attention to that stuff. Uh, I basically try to end up with, you know, X amount of playables, either like 22 or 23 or whatever, like depending on how many lands you're going to play. And then uh, I want to be drafting sideboard cards, like good sideboard cards, or purposefully making upgrades in my deck. But at the end of the draft, I don't want to lay out my deck and have like 26 playables because there's basically no reason for you to have that many. I think you just want, you want to build your deck, you want to get to the 22 or 23 playables you want, and then just draft sideboard cards. So, like, uh, Third Mind Raker, Third Swarm Surge are, are just, like, all these cards that, sure, I could potentially take, like, during the draft, but I would not play them anyway, so what's the point? I would rather just take a sideboard card over it, so hopefully that makes sense. And then, boom. Submission. So, like I said, a little... A little uh, erratic here with two Swarm Surge, two Nursery. Uh, pretty low on creatures. Possible I should have just another creature in my deck. Maybe the 4-2. I should probably cut a Swarm Surge for a 4-2. It's a lot of 4s. Yeah, there's no way I want all these Swarm Surges. I'll play one. One seems fine. And then we have 22 magic cards, three of which are not colorless. So our nurseries are going to be pretty great. It's possible I want to actually cut a land for a Hedron Blade, which is just like the weirdest thing ever, but just having another one drop for nursery might be good. But yeah, I think that's about it. Definitely ended up playable or too short to make uh, my deck be, you know, like an 8 instead of a 7 or something. But 
Uh, overall, this is not too bad. We'll, we'll play some games, see what happens.